Well, the best idea is probably just to drop production right now. And that's exactly what Nashted can do. Since, yeah, this is probably more hemp farming than I need. But I'm sure I get hemp from other places, right? When it comes to hemp, yeah, Riga makes it, but what else? I uh, can't be too sure. In any case, I'm always seemingly short on metal, raw metal, so I'm happy to get that flowing. And indeed it is flowing from you. It's not piling up here that much, though. Nothing really seems to be. But it's good. I don't like seeing things pile up, and yet I like to have uh, plentiful amounts of things. Might seem a little odd to say both those, but it is true. And now Visby can finally supply me with the pitch that I've been deserving for so long. Scarborough finished its siege. There was somewhere else that was under siege preventing me from building things, and I was going, ugh, about it. It was probably somewhere that had really... Hadn't finished their wall, perhaps it was Helsinki? Yeah, it was probably Helsinki, because I'm close to the limit here. And they're still short on uh, many a goodie. So I actually want to grab these metal tools, of which I have a fair few. And clay and lots of wood. So we can help out Helsinki. Thanks, Snerfu. I needed that. That should be another million for us if we can... Okay, we know nothing of that. When you see three Chronicle entries at once, it's usually somebody putting somewhere under siege. Uh, everywhere under... in Pomerania is now under siege. Thankfully, we don't care much about that. We don't have a big presence in any of these places. But Flanders, I want you to be happy. I will not cause a famine in Lubeck there. I mean, I could. I mean, I'm not building up Lubeck, am I? I could cause a famine in Lubeck. Wouldn't be that hard to do, either. Also, I am sufficiently cruel, so I'm going to do that. What's my prize? Why don't you forget your deliveries to the Prince Count Louis of Flanders for once and make sure there's famine? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll do it for a change. So what I'm going to do to cause a famine is I'm going to go to my administrator in Lubeck and I'm going to save my game in case I cock everything up by doing this. I go to my administrator and I say uh, purchase goods and it doesn't really matter the number that you purchase to. I'm also going to save the current one so that I can load it up later. Uh, oops. Yeah, well, buy to maximum is what I'm saying then. All of the food. This is going to mess up my trade routes for a wee bit, but it's okay. It should be enough to cause a famine straight away. And if we watch... If we watch, I'm surprised that they aren't... Oh, I forgot. I need to actually change it so that you will buy them at any price. There we go. Now if we watch... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words there. I should be buying it all up. Is it because I keep selling it back? And here I am trying to look like I know what I'm doing here. Okay, you don't seem to know what you're doing. Just buy everything up, will you? There we go. No food for Lubeck. No grain. No uh, no cheese. No meat. No fish. That should help. Then I'll get in the good books with uh, Flanders Man. 
so take your tools. I know you need a ton of them. And man, tools sell for such crazy money. It's beautiful. Uh, the rest can just go here because I still want to build up. Fair. Still want to build up uh, Helsinki here. I dare not have my competitor building houses here. Don't have a good start point for houses in many places, but I can do that. Oh, yeah, the wall wasn't finished. That was a problem. Okay, well, there's still not going to be anything then. Oh, well, not to worry. The goods are there for when I need them. So, poor Lubeck here is desperate for food. We shall not give them any opportunity to be fed. This is a wonderful feeling. I feel so horribly cruel. Please give us beer. Please increase production here. Of clothing? Hell yes. It's just free money. And they're not talking to me anymore, which makes me uh, abundantly sad. So I'm going to save. I'm going to quit. And I'm going to start the game up again. Every time I load the game up, it uh, tries to convince me to buy or play... Um, Grand Age is medieval. I did buy it. I did play it. I won't be playing it again. It's not very good. It's not very good at all. I, it's not terrible, but I found no real enjoyment. It was very tedious. Now, excuse me while I spend another 20 hours dealing with all the macros here. Yes, probably... Uh, Probably don't have much a leg to stand on, calling it tedious when I play this game, but still. I don't like what I don't like. And currently, you can be forgiven for thinking that we don't like Lubeck. I just need that place to burn, baby burn. Not allowed cheese. Not allowed anything. I'm running out of time to complete this. Well, I got ten more days to do it. Hopefully, I do. And pirates in Oslo again. I remember when I manually, uh, well, remember when I saved my settings for Lubeck's administrator. Yeah, well, closing and uh, reopening the game lost those, so I'll have to put them back in. Starve, you buggers. There we go. Lubeck is now starving, which is hilarious to me, but I got a decent chunk of money out of it. And what I can also do, I think we'll take the raw stock counting house administrator for that. I'm just going to save it and go here and load it. Now it's a lot more sensible, and I don't think I need to worry about any of the rest of these, so that's okay. And in a couple of days, Lubeck is going to pay me a bunch of money for uh, the nice things that I've done. But it also means that I now have a ton of goods here, which honestly I didn't need, but they'll get sold out and everything will be fine. It also means that Flanders should be very happy with me. Very, very happy with me. He wants more money, but well, too bad for him. Also Harlem could always do with more people here. So we're going to have another meal for the poor, provided I have the beer, which I don't for some reason. Why is the beer not flowing? If I had to guess, the 10-day demand for beer here is high. 
Yeah, 294. And I bet my beer does not flow fast enough. Yeah, Edinburgh has tons of beer, so I need the IPA to either get larger. Uh, actually, IPA might be right around here. It's, your, it's right there. That's good. I'm going to make it bigger. It's currently just one Hanseatic. Co oh, man, I do not have free boats in this harbour. Mm. Carry on your merry way. I'm going to get some boats over there. I mean, this is something that I have to do quite often, is just grab all the boats I have and dump them into Alborg where they can be used and abused. Even Edinburgh's got uh, a free hulk for me. Even Novgorod has free boats for me. They must have uh, mustered everything they had to be able to build one of those for me. Alberg, of course, has free boats. Malma, oh, nice. Okay, with that in mind, Ipa can actually stay where it is. I need to do some quick calculations on just how many uh, how many convoys or how much space I need to bring all the beer from Edinburgh to the Centre for Trading. Harlem of course has plenty of boats for me, as it should. And the nice thing is since I have counting houses in all cities I can just go directly to them to command the boats that I have sitting around, otherwise you have to have someone in port and oh my! Carvels a plenty here in Rostock, and I could be ordering so many more, so I will. It's a point in having money if you don't invest it. Damn, why is Rostock so good for this? I guess it is central, so that works out. Ripen. Oslo only really has abducted things. No, not quite. But yes, you always need more and more boats because as uh, production goes up and demand goes up, you need to get those things shipped out faster and faster. So always lots of boats. You should be producing tons of boats everywhere at all times. And you really, really get patted on the back for supplying these goods. Wood and hemp are easy enough. The other three... Okay, pitch can be easy, but the others... Nah. These privileges are expensive, but I'll take them for now. And I will go to the city hall and I'll say why... Okay, guard tower. That's a shame. Where was I just that I was doing that stuff there? I don't know, but I feel like I made a fleet and did not tell them to go back to uh, back home. Let me do a quick check. No, oh, I'm imagining things. Starving Lubeck. Long may they remain starving. It's actually not all that bad because you uh, you end up with a huge demand for goods here. But it also means I passed by in a lot of time where I could have been selling goodies that I had, so... Not all bad is uh, not meaning better than the alternative. Jake, beer in Edinburgh in the same sentence? Surely not. Well, beer is overflowing here to the point where I could shift more production towards metal goods, which there's always a shortage of. In fact, that's seeming more and more like a good idea, but I need more smiths for that. Really, some of these problems just solve themselves.
Okay, that's a bit much, but it means that I can shift um, shift the excess of beer over to producing more metal tools at a drop of a hat. So, Ipa. Man, this this is getting big. Where is Ipa? Just not enough space for everything here. All right, there you are, Ipa. I needed some uh, some boats on you here. And I think you're coming over from uh, Novgorod, that's fine. Good. Now that everyone's there, I can deal with them. Once I get this commercial route set up, you need 50 cloth. Don't I have 50 cloth? I am surprised and shocked that I don't have 50 cloth for you. Someone here must have some cloth. A semi-reasonable amount, I mean. Yeah, I do. I can get some right there. Hunter will take care of this. Now, Alberg, you are full of people now. So I'm just going to do it this way. If you don't follow a naming convention... And away you go. Okay, this is an unpleasant way to do it because there are so many to click through. But hey, bad UI is a staple of uh, gaming mind games. I think you would like Patrician 3. It has loads of foundable cities, and the cities look nicer. Plus, it has a map editor, so you can get mods. Uh, mods never really tend to do it for me. With mods, you tend to find that balance goes right out the window, and I'm also a firm believer in that too much choice is bad choice for me. I mean, that's purely a personal standpoint. And I know that uh, there are plenty of great mods that do great things, it's just usually not for me. Mayo was a big change in that respect, because I played Mayo for EU3 and it blew my mind. Okay, do we have many more of you? Yeah, we still got Trig here. So much cargo capacity. And there's still even more. It's going to be the most crowded port imaginable. I'm glad they didn't put a limit on them. I think there's one more and that's Flandrin. Away you go. Imagine not giving these people sensible names. How hard would it be to keep a hold of them? Alright, so I need to deal with Ipa, but first I need to think how much beer Edinburgh produces in every... I think it's a 10 day round trip, so it's 200 every 10 days. So we'll grab Ipa. It takes 8 days to do, but still Ipa needs to be twice as big as it is. Easily enough done, I just need to grab another Hanseatic Cog, since that's what it is. They have good speed as well, I like Hanseatic Cogs. Alternatively I could replace it with a single Carvel, which are even faster. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? The answer is yes, yes it is beautiful, so get to it. Do your thing. Keep the beer flowing. And probably wildcard Thagnus could help out a bit just by bringing some extra back. Wherever he is. Oh, he is, he is back here, I think. Couldn't hurt to uh, go and get us some goods, though. I'm probably going to find that I actually have the cloth here. Yes, I do. That's nice. Of 
great. All the more reason to actually have you guys go and do what you do. Which means Hunter does not need to go out and get some goodies. So now we have... Ta da Land route. Patrician Marvin Von Riga contributed active. Eight has been made. Wait, what? Let me try again. Man, reading is meant to be something I'm good at, right? The land route Patrician Marvin Von Riga contributed to activate has made it possible for the city of Erf Erfurt. Erfurt? Okay, I don't know why it takes me to Edinburgh. Hmm. Hmm. This is the first place we've seen that is purely inland. The only way to trade here is by sending a convoy. You can only see these places when you actually send a convoy there as well. Yes. Okay, well, how about in Bruges, we have a wagon depot. Actually, make us a wagon. Make us a few wagons, actually. It's a shame that it's not Harlem that it's linked to, because I'm barely established in Bruges. I have some warehouses built up, and that's as far as it goes. Okay, but still, we managed to do it. We'll never escape Erfurt. Well, will Erfurt ever escape us? It's a very underwhelming place. It produces cloth and clothes, great, but the rest of the stuff I don't care about, especially since it's so far away. Jake, don't send a convoy to Erfurt. It will re never return due to repeatedly crashing and having returned to Erfurt for repairs. Is there really still not enough pitch coming out of Malma that you can't even work. I mean, I'm not too surprised, but still. Malma brings us the wooden uh, metal tools, rather, and that's what we need. Why are so many beekeepers here? What happened such that I have all this honey flowing again? Honey is not what I need here. Pitch and other things, absolutely. Alright, now Wildcard Thagnus is going to help out with the beer situation, and Visby is not really short in building up anymore. They'll need wood for all that pitch, but I produce that wood right here. 4.3 coming in, 3.4 used. Yeah, I could be satisfied with this, I just need Visby to grow. Doesn't have the meat or the beer for it. What about the other one? four stockfish. Just so happens there are four stockfish. I will steal it from the market so no one can have it and give it to the beggars. Provided there is meat as well, there is no meat. Okay, well, never mind me then. Well, that's good. In fact, everything's going pretty good. I can work up Visby next. And then we can finally have the pitch properly flowing. But first, let's help out with the beer, because there's way too much here. Well, we can just bring nothing but beer back, that'll help. No overflowing of goods in Harlem anymore. Well, except salt, but I told them to keep loads of salt. Fish! I finally have so much fish that I don't know what to do with it. Great. Now, I have had plenty of problems before because of fish, because... Where is it now? Where's my fish guys? Fish Alberg the log and Fish Alberg too. Okay, these guys barely have anything to do. And it's just east and center and it's nowhere near enough fish to keep everybody happy. I never even uh, established a Fish West guy. But now, now it's different. I can grab the Harlem to Alberg Fish La Grande, which is in Alberg, and actually needs to be a lot larger. How much fish do I produce, Harlem? Tell me. 
270 a day, and that's going to go up. Let's just say 300 a day right now. But again, it's going to go up. Wait, hang on a sec. How many do I have? 101. What's the size of my... Uh, my hands are... Statistics... 150. I'm, as usual, I knock off 10,000 for all the uh, people living up cities. But that tells me that the demand for stockfish could happily be met by 81 of these. So I'm going to keep you at 90%. Nah, you know what, let's keep it as is. Because population is only going to grow, right? Mm -mm. Still 300 uh, a day, 3,000 every 10 days. So, that fleet that I had a moment ago, Harlem to Alberg Fish, La Grande, needs to be so much more than it is right now. Now this route takes 7 days, so 7 times 321, let's be safe and say a 3000 capacity. So, either we bring a lot more cogs or we bring some bigger boats, but cogs are still very much being produced, so I'm happy. Happy getting the cogs going. 2,500 should be plenty enough, right? Let's keep it safe, though. Now, now the fish flows. At least to one point. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to break my uh, cargo thing by doing that, so hold on to at least a few fish and get on with that. Then, once I have fish in Alberg, I can get plenty of uh, people dispersing that fish. It's good to see that the grain is actually flowing now. Even Boston and Scarborough get the grain. So, fan-freaking-tastic. Probably tells me that Alberg could stand to produce less grain and more metal. Well, it's good to see, that, again, that we also have metal. So, the smelters are due 300 folk. I'm going to give them 300 folk. So we can ease up on the grain production for just a little bit. And then there's the fact that metal doesn't get out enough. But I want to pile up a bit more metal before I do that. As usual, the pitch has problems flowing. But Visby. Visby is going to be the next big one. Which tells me I could probably grab some Harlem people. And then have another big... Uh, big migration of Dutch. It's just... It's no longer the Hansa, it's just the greater Dutch land. Send it to Visby. What, the 9,000 beer? Well, beer is in demand around here. But just look at how good we're keeping these places stocked. It's beautiful. The things we're lacking are things that we don't produce. Mead, clothes, pelts. Okay, the meat I need to deal with, and I will as soon as I can make you happy. Which I think is right now. Have some money. I'll make him a little happier later on. Cause a famine in Ripen. The Ripen city fathers need to learn not to trifle with the Hanseatic League and that the supply of food is not simply a matter of course. The Hanseatic Council is looking for a trader to inf induce a famine on the city in 30 days. In Ripen. Now I don't like Ripen as much as the next guy. In fact, I hate Ripon. It constantly gives me these um, these fees. Mm -hmm. Do I have any production buildings here? No. In fact, I have barely anything invested in Ripon. I'm a little disgusted that it grows. Might be an idea not to have it supplied very well. Hmm. Ugh. Ah, well, I'll take the place over later. There's no point being spiteful to it. It's just going to help hurt me in the future. I lost my train of thought, though. Something about beer. There you go, Alberg. Get that beer flowing. Which makes me wonder if my beer guys in the, around here are sufficiently beered up. I mean, look at you. You take 500 to supply all these guys. 10 day demand for beer is 170 for the likes of Navstead, and you take 11 days to do it. So I'm thinking I'm going to save beer center here. And make another one. 
probably one that goes the other way around. <laughs> 